G'day, didgeridoo to smart person. My name's Dylan. I'm a physicist from the land down under. Grab a coffee, grab a monolith, grab a Vegemite sandwich. Look, grab whatever you want. Let's talk some natural philosophy. For all the people that left nasty comments about Marsha, looks like you're getting the Novichok treatment. I don't know about you, but I kind of want to touch that thing. So let's go check it out. I must admit, I am a huge fan of the show. I am currently up to date with Dragon Ball Super, so it's not so much a genuine reaction, but I thought it could be fun um, and we can talk a bit about some of the physics of the show and whether or not any of it is realistic. Uh, because there's lots of cool things in the show which verge on reality. Uh, so let's watch some stuff together and I can maybe tell you some cool facts. So before all the trolls comment below and say, I don't think they were thinking about theoretical physics when they were writing Dragon Ball Z. And I totally get that, okay? So just take a chill pill. I'm making this video because it's actually kind of interesting how close some of these things are to reality. Plus, you guys get to learn some cool things about reality. You know, fun facts. Who doesn't like some fun facts? If you didn't know this channel, you won't find any serious physics here. It's just you all about fun facts, all right? So if that's what you're interested in, Subscribe, apply some time derivative of momentum onto that subscribe button, and yeah, let's get into it. Here it is. Wow, so that's the hyperbolic time chamber, huh? All right, which group goes first? Hey, you two, go on in. Good. Right this way, please. Once you cross the threshold, you ought to spend a year in the room, but when you leave, only a day will have passed in this dimension. Good luck. Thank you, Goku. Good luck, Trunks. Take care of Vegeta, okay? <laughs> I hope those two get along. What's so special about this place? So let's pause it there and talk about this hyperbolic time chamber. So Mr. Popo just told us that one year inside this hyperbolic time chamber is equivalent to one day on Earth. Now is something like this possible in reality? Could we really build a hyperbolic time chamber? And it might surprise you to learn that actually we could. We really could build something similar to this. But instead of it being some sort of chamber in another dimension, you could simply use a rocket ship that was traveling very fast. So thanks to Einstein and his uh, theory of relativity, which is experimentally verified, you could get on a rocket ship and you could go on a 24 hour round trip. So you leave Earth, you go on a round trip, after 24 hours you arrive back at Earth and you were traveling at say 99.9999999% the speed of light, 193 years would have gone by on Earth. So one day went by for you in this 24 hour round trip and 193 years on Earth. So as you can see, you really can create something like the hyperbolic time chamber. And I even worked out how fast you'd need to be traveling for one a one day round trip to equal one year on earth and you'd have to be traveling about 99.999 percent the speed of light so yes theoretically it's possible practically well traveling that close to the speed of light would be very 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 hard and that's because as you approach the speed of light time obviously slows down but space also contracts and because of all these things, it takes almost an infinite amount of energy. And to travel at the speed of light, it would actually take an infinite amount of energy, which is obviously not possible because infinite infinity is not a number. It's a concept. Uh, and so good luck traveling at an infinite speed. Um, so as you can see, 
Our understanding there gets a bit iffy, and that's why we think time doesn't pass for light. In fact, as you travel close to the speed of light, space contracts, so distance is meaningless for things like photons, which makes up light. So for light, time doesn't exist, and neither does distance. It's everywhere and anywhere instantaneously. And I talked a little bit about this in the previous video, in the in one of the previous videos, sorry, the Dr. Stone video. So yes, theoretically, something like the hyperbolic time chamber is very possible, but practically, we're probably never going to be able to travel at that speed unless we find some loopholes, which I'm sure there are many. So I take that back. It very well may be possible to create something like this. With our current understanding of nature and the laws of physics, it would be very, very hard to do so, as I said, but we really don't know everything. And in fact, we know very little, so who knows? For all that time, they're weak and they rely on strange techniques to survive. You mastered them, didn't you? Right again. I get it. You were training, so that's why you didn't come home earlier. Awesome! Show us a move. I want to see... I didn't have much time, and it was really tough to learn. But I finally got it down. I learned one Yardradian technique. In just one year, I perfected instant transmission. You learned what? That's amazing. Can you demonstrate it? Hmm? Demonstrate? Yeah, sure. For this move, you focus hard, but not on a place, on a person. Then you lock onto their energy. After that, you immediately go to wherever they are. Now, where do I want to travel first? I know. Three, two, one. He's gone! I'm back! <laughs> nice! You've perfected a parlor trick. Just high-speed smoke and mirrors. Oh, yeah? Recognize these? They look like Master Roshi's glasses! Speaking of high-speed uh, smoke and mirrors and this instant transmission, there's a really cool thing I can talk about called quantum tunneling. Now, you might have heard of quantum entanglement, which, uh, you know, when we were first uh, learning about it, some people thought that maybe quantum entanglement is breaking the speed of light barrier. Well, it very well might be, but you can never hope to uh, transmit anything via quantum entanglement for very specific reasons, which we won't get into. There might be some loopholes in the future. We really don't understand quantum mechanics to the level we probably ought to before we make such claims. But for quantum tunneling, which possibly might be even weirder because rather than dealing with two systems, you're dealing with one traveling through space and it might be traveling superluminally, which means faster than the speed of light, th through materials. Now, let me explain what quantum tunneling is. So, say you have a tennis ball and you throw a tennis ball at a wall. What happens? It usually bounces back, doesn't it? You don't usually throw a tennis ball and it just goes straight through a, say, brick wall. Well, with particles, you can throw particles at a barrier that it doesn't have enough energy to break. And sometimes particles will just literally disappear and appear on the other side of the barrier. They will quantum tunnel through the barrier. And this happens all the time and with lots of things that you're aware of. And how this happens is still a complete unknown. And how long it spends inside the material, tunneling through it is also unknown. But in recent experiments, we've tried to measure how long this time, this tunneling time takes. And it turns out it might actually be faster than the speed of light, which is really, you know, not meant to be allowed. But so there's still some further investigations, obviously, that need to occur. And it might just turn out to be not traveling faster than the speed of light for some statistical reasons. So if particles are able to instantly transmit through barriers, traveling at faster than the speed of light, who knows what's possible in the future and what sort of things we'll be capable of doing. Uh, maybe instantly transmitting objects and certain things. It seems like it could be a possibility. Instantly transmitting people. Well, I'm not sure about that one. But anyway, I thought I could 
I thought that was a pretty cool thing that we could uh, talk about just there. So I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>